get set to get wet because we're in the angler's tunnel. I no no, I thought it worked. <laughs> also, great thing to shout before having sex. Get set to get wet. Well if you're the guy at least. So yeah. <laughs> On that awkward note, uh here we are back in the angler's tunnel. Which it's not really a tunnel. A tunnel's kind of a big long expanse of uh, enough of the sex jokes. Okay, so if we come in here after beating the mini boss, we will get this temple's item or dungeon or whatever. You've got the flippers. If you press the B button while you swim, you can dive underwater. So this is pretty cool because it turns what the it turns the main obstacle of the dungeon into something that you can traverse. It's like going into somewhere where there's lava and being able to walk on the lava. Or being able to just fly over bottomless pits. It's really neat. Alright. Now this is kind of what that owl was talking about. We talk we step on the shining spots. Oh now. Nah. Make sure you don't step on the wrong ones. We do all that, and the door opens. But that's not really what we were trying to accomplish. That was just a practice room. If we come in here, we've got the real one. I'm uh, going to try and take out these tech types so they don't bother me. But now if we use that exact same pattern, which was this. And if you forget it, you can just do, tri do trial and error because it's relatively easy. What? That was supposed to be it. Okay. Bottom left. Bottom right. Top left. Top right. Center. I don't know why it didn't work before. Anyways, it opens up this little place. Here are some of these crusher guys, which are actually called thwomps. I don't know, with all the Mario references in this game, you would expect them to just have some, like, real-ass looking thwomps. The ones that actually look like the Thwomp. Probably ripped them directly out of Super Mario World. Okay, uh, come over here, and we have obtained the Nightmare Key. Don't know why I said that all ominous -y. Okay, but yeah, now that we have the... Well, technically, right now that we've got the Nightmare Key, we can sequence break and just come over here. But I ain't that kind of guy. <laughs> just wanted to show you that you can do that. It's a relatively easy jump that I think they didn't really expect you to do. Wait, do I have... I don't have a small key. Yeah, we are almost done with this dungeon. and It's actually a pretty short dungeon if you know what you're doing. Not to say it's a bad dungeon, but I don't know the the dungeon item is the flippers. I believe there's one more treasure chest to get, yes. And I don't know, to me, the flippers, they're not really something that you get in a dungeon. They're not really like a dungeon item, because they're kind of more of a passive item. Like, I the way I mean that, you can't equip it to A or B. They're just something that activate automatically when you go into the water. Ah, here's the key that fell from up there before. Oh, also a note, if you can swim like in these, if you swim in the dungeons, you'll get this little 2D perspective and Link kicks his little feet. It's adorable. Also, if you press A, uh, Link will uh, rapidly ascend. I think it's the on only thing that, the only item that works in the water. Well, that's not true. Your sword works in the water, but I'll show you that later, because there will be more water sections like that. Um, but yes, what was I saying before that? I've completely forgotten. Ah yes, the flippers. They're not really something that you would get in a dungeon, because they're not really like a main item. They're kind of a support item. Like, let me put this in perspective. In Link to the Past, you got the, the flippers by buying them from Azora. Uh, you got them from a diving master in the Oracle games. Uh, whether you get them directly from him or you get them from his grave, you get the diving master's flippers. They're not really a dungeon item. Which, I don't know, it's kind of weird that they are a dungeon item in this game, Link's Awakening. But then again, there are a lot of things off about Link's Awakening. It's the first Game Boy game. Well, no. 
it's the first Zelda Game Boy game. Although, if this was the first Game Boy game, that would be a pretty decent way to start off. It's a great game. What was the first Game Boy game? I'll look it up later. Wasn't it like Mario Land or something? Anyways. Uh, if we come up here, press this button. Just to make sure you can't go back. Uh, get this, because we're close to getting to the boss room. We've got ourselves a little section. Again, this section is completely skippable if you don't want to go and get that last key. But I want to actually show everything, so I'm not going to sequence break this place. And here we are at the boss room. want to keep all of my health. If I move these, I believe there's hearts or a fairy or something. I don't know. Yep, heart one, and uh, I guess there's only one heart. But there is that flying heart that heals a whole bunch. Anyways, let's go down here and find the boss. Okay. Gonna charge up my sword. Here, the boss is Anglerfish. Bloop, bloop, glub, oh, foo, bloop, glub. Now, because I have a piece of power, this is going to be immensely easy. Uh, he normally takes 10 hits with your sword, your level 1 sword. Uh, but if you have a piece of power or something, then you can just stand there and cheese him. He will make, he'll make rocks fall from the ceiling, he'll throw his minions at you. But if, you, if you're lucky enough to come across a piece of power like I was, and, well, I don't know if you can get the level 2 sword yet, not a spoiler because you can obviously see my sword says L1 and this isn't on the PlayStation 1 so yeah okay short episode but yeah if you have a level 2 sword or the piece of power or both that guy's a joke you've got the surf harp goes into the bay. Alright. Well, on that note, we have four of the instruments of the siren, and we are about halfway through the game. Four more to go, and why do I only have three keys? Huh. Okay, anyways. Uh, we will go and do some stuff in the next episode. So this is me, Thrasho2, saying, be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.